that just wanted to set the scene and if you'll humor me you know i'd love for you all to imagine that perhaps you're a busy second grade teacher who's just collected some really good baseline literacy data for their class established some fairly aggressive student growth goals in the next two to four weeks in reading for those students and now needs to figure out how to simultaneously provide differentiated instruction to those students while simultaneously collecting and analyzing student reading data. A tall task indeed may be familiar to some of you watching. Let's check out how we might handle that inside Literable. So for that, I'm gonna click over into this tab into our Literably dashboard. And as alluded to earlier, we now have a much fuller suite of foundational literacy assessments in oral reading fluency, phonological awareness, phonics, rapid automatized naming, spelling, and vocabulary here in this one-stop shop dashboard. And later in October, we'll also be releasing a new reading comprehension assessment. So you'll start to see that assessment pop up here, top right part of your screen. I also wanted to mention that for the oral reading fluency, phonological awareness, and phonics assessments, we now offer those in Spanish. So if you do have students or need to instruct in a bilingual manner, you can now use this language toggle to access your literally Spanish data here, again, in this centralized dashboard. But back to what we've been hearing from teachers this year. You know, one of the themes that I've been hearing in my combos is that a lot of folks are very intentional and focused on teaching phonics in a very systematized way to their students. So let's click on this phonics tab, talk about some of the new features that we've released. And just as a quick orientation, and I'll zoom in ever so slightly, when we're on this phonics tab, you can quickly see on the left-hand side, my students' names, the title of their last phonics assessment, under the date column when they took that assessment, and then how they performed on that assessment under this score column. And we've color coded these scores for teachers so that they can see who is mastering these phonic skills in that blue or green color, or who is having some skill gaps in those areas, which you'll see with the red and yellow colors. And you'll notice I just sorted that column so that teachers can see those patterns and trends across, across their entire classroom. So historically, the way to get even more detailed data on the phonics skills that students have been assessing on in Literably has been one, to download a data export, or two, to click on a graded assessment itself and see what happened when the student tried to read. So here for Willy Wonka, as a very quick example, you can see that very detailed data on their performance. And you can even see down here how they read either correctly or incorrectly the words uh, on the literally assessment. So just, we'll just click one just so you can get a feel for that. Um, we can see Willy Wonka didn't read the word misfit quite right. Let's check that out. Misfits. And I will confess that is my voice and not Willy Wonka. But let's back out. So teachers have been saying to us, okay, that data is great. But what we'd really like to see is for my entire class in this dashboard view, how are all of my students performing on those very specific skills? So we've just released a way to do that. And to do that, all you need to do is click on this skills view toggle. Let's check it out. So when we do that, what you're seeing are the different phonics areas from left to right I'll scroll to the right so you can see, that literally might assess students on in our platform. Below that, you can see that teachers now have some options on the types of views they might want to utilize in understanding their students' skills, whether it's looking at all of the skills that students have assessed on, all the skills that they might assess on, which you can see in phonics, there's quite a lot, or maybe they just wanna check out the skills assessed in each student's last assessment. So let's go back to this view, all assessed skills, and take a look at what this is showing us. So I'm, I'm seeing a, a ton of data, but what's interesting is very quickly, I can pull out a few insights uh, very instantly. 
which is if I look on my leftmost column, I can see when it comes to decoding real words with closed syllables and featuring two syllables, students in my class are doing pretty well with a few exceptions. But if I go over and look at the rightmost column, I can see that a ton of my students are still having a struggle with decoding real words that include split vowels. The same is true if we look here on the third column for three syllable words that include closed syllables and are real, as well as kind of some mixed performance here with these real words that feature closed syllables and have two syllables with blends. I'm also noticing very quickly that Ron Weasley here in this fourth row is maybe struggling a bit more than some of his peers. And that Pippi Longstocking really seems to be excelling, at least in comparison to her classmates. Let's click on one more tab and just see what the data shows us. Okay, so wow, again, a lot of data here, but quickly just wanna pull out the insights that hit me, which are that one, if I think about words that end in the letter S, it seems like for the most part, my students are doing a good job of decoding those words. But it does seem like there's a pretty big skill gap when it comes to decoding words in those other columns, which refer to words that end in ED or ER. Again, I'm noticing that Ron Weasley is maybe having some struggles along with Greg, and that Pippi Longstocking, again, is doing quite well in comparison to her peers. So these are just some of the data insights we might pull out, and obviously there are a lot more tabs here. But for time's sake, I, I want you to imagine that I, as a teacher, am now taking this data, and for the next one to two weeks, I'm going to be very focused on instructing my students in these different areas where we saw a lot of red or yellow. And now I want to understand very quickly, has that instruction been working? Can my students decode these types of words independently? So Literably actually has a way to do that inside the Literably dashboard. Let's go ahead and check that out. To do that, I'm just going to toggle back to my assessment view, and then I just need to decide which student or students do I want to assess. I'll do that here by clicking this checkbox for my whole class, and then I'm actually going to give Pippi Longstocking maybe a little break on this one since she's already shown mastery. So now that I've selected my students, I'll just move my mouse over here to the top right corner and click Assign Next Assessments, where I have some different options. I could, of course, at any time, uh, select a pre-made screener here. But in this case, I want to create a very custom and targeted assessment. And I'll do that by clicking this button and then finding those skills that we were looking at earlier, which included our multi-syllabic words, and I'll find the specific ones that we were checking out, which included this split vowel selection here, the one that included two syllables with blends, and just the real word closed syllable, three syllable words. Boom, done. And then I also want to assess those inflectional endings that we looked at. So let's go ahead and click that category here. And then quickly, I'm going to remove the S because most of my students are doing pretty well there. And I'm gonna click the words that end in ED and ER. If I wanted to, I could preview this assessment just to make sure I picked the right items. But after that, it's as simple as clicking save. And you can see that you know, in less than a minute, I'm able to create this very targeted assessment for the majority of my students. And all I need to do now is ask them to log into Literably to take that assessment We'll get the results back to the teacher. They'll display here and elsewhere. Um, and you'll have that data super quick. And you might be saying, and this will be the last thing I show, you know, this is great, Chris, and I'd be very excited to see these results update on the dashboard view that we're looking at. But like, what do I do if I want to know more about how a student's growing over time throughout the school year? Are they really getting better? Are they really progressing? So Literably has released something new that allows you to do that, which we call our assessment history or uh, student detail page. So let's check that out for Pippi Longstocking. So when I click Pippi's name, I'm brought to that page. And here again, in this one-stop shop, I can see all of the students data for the uh, school year across the different assessments that she might be taking. 
whether it's oral reading fluency or some of these other ones. And I'll just click on these tabs so you can get a quick preview. But let's just check out this phonics tab as an example. We can quickly see for this student the number of skills that she's assessed on and the ones she's mastered, the different assessments she's taken, and I can click on those to see that very rich data and audio that we briefly looked at earlier. And then below that, we have a skills report, which is one of our newest features, which allows you to pull out one of those phonics or multiple phonics areas that you're interested in and see what does growth look like here? So let's try out a tab that we haven't looked at yet, which is affix affixes. So when I click that, what you can see are the different uh, skill questions in this particular area and how Pippi has been performing on them over this school year so far. And just as a quick analysis, we can see that not too long ago on September 12th, there was a struggle decoding uh, a word that started with RE. But since then, maybe due to teacher's instruction, uh, she seemed to have mastered that. And so we're hoping this can allow you to understand your students and how they're growing or what areas continue to maybe be struggles. Um, for time's sake, I won't click on too much more. Instead, I will just back out and say that this student assessment history page now also exists on each student's uh, next assessment tab. So anytime you want to assign a next assessment for one student and just click the pencil, you now have all this data at your fingertips to help inform what you might want them to do next in Literally.